I am working on my um, book a little bit more for this and this is all pretty well solid now um, with all the uh, fabric glued down and I've been thinking about my pages and I know Roxy, uh, Rachel showed, I think it was the Constantina and a couple of other people, Corinne and all them have shown. And I think, I'm, I don't know if this is exactly the same thing, but I'm going to make the pages. I've cut some muslin to do this and I'm going to move this. And I've cut with the fabric two pieces of the um, muslin or some of you guys call it calico <clears throat> whoops sorry I didn't mean to knock y'all out of focus uh, and so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this and I think maybe I'll start I don't know we'll see from one edge but I'm gonna take the biggest page I have so far which is this and this is gonna be a little bigger than what I need but I can always trim it down a little bit uh, this fuzzy edge over here does not bother me and so I want to get a baseline for where I'm going to fold these at. It looks like right about now I'm making this up as I go so <laughs> we're open for the best on it. Now like I said I'm gonna have to trim it down because it is a little longer than what but see that would be maybe it could come in just a little bit now because I need some to attach and that should be enough to attach and I'm gonna do it in between those because I'm gonna put one on one side and what I've decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the old basics you got it so in snaps I have tons of these my mom was always sewing in snaps she loved snaps but what I'm gonna have to do is I'll have to take off this top bit of stitching that I've done sew my snaps I'm only gonna do two of them and then I'll put two up on the top of this page and then these will snap in and out and so that way I will be able to keep the whatever I decide to use uh, raffia um, ribbon I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use to run through all of these but I think this will be, suit my purpose because the snaps will be out of the way you won't see them but it will hold it in place while it's not being used and I thought that might be it's a little extra sewing um, I'm gonna do two snaps per piece I think that'll be plenty to hold it in and hopefully and then I'll just keep the snaps out so as I'm working on these I can snow, sew the snaps in on each time but <clears throat> I'll come back when I've gotten this complete more completed but all I'm gonna do from this point is I've gotten this spot that I like that I think it's gonna be a good size and I will just keep folding it so that the pieces are the same size lining up the top and bottom whoa <laughs> sorry about that my camera just fell 
Hi again. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> My camera, I have it mounted onto a shelf next to me. And it just slid where it's mounted. It just slid right off. And yeah. So anyway, we're back. Okay. In the meantime, what I have done is I have gone ahead and cut. And it's this is not a concertina. This is like regular book pages is what it's going to be. And I'm going to do um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can hold six. So I'll have two signatures in my thing. And I've cut them down so that they're a little more manageable size. And that's going to be it. So now what I need to decide is where I want my snaps. I think this this is a Frixion pen that I'm working with and it's not wanting to cooperate I think it's about out of ink and this is my fadeaway which hopefully it will I can always come back and remark these okay so now I have my marks I'm gonna take this top stitching out so that I can sew these on and I'll have to do that on the four of them but then from this point on I will have my snaps on before I sew that top piece and for the um, ribbon rod whatever I decide to use in between but that's all I wanted to show you um, was how I was going to put it in and then I'll open it up and I will do a regular, th uh, I might do a five hole just to hold it in better. But then that way the ribbon or whatever doesn't have to be taken out and it will wrap around and then in the inside and around each side. So you'll have a little piece of the ribbon coming around on some of these pages. Okay, have a wonderful day and once I get it in there I'll try and take another picture. That might be a day or so but I wanted to get this started all right I hope you have a wonderful day bye okay I am do I don't know how far we got because my camera oh, looks like it's got a little gremlin or something in it <laughs> it got off it's falling off it's my husband came in and put a got a piece of a patch of a bicycle tire and put it up underneath because it's like a hard plastic where it attaches so we'll see if that holds it he said he thought it might so we're trying that to see if it holds in there but all I'm that's all I'm doing is running a basting stitch so that now I have a booklet because this is all going to be tied into the book itself and so this way I will have enough just in this one little thing here to put the 12 pieces in there and each one will be as I showed you before will be put on here one on the front one on the back And see what I'm saying is that the ribbon, if it goes, through, if I start it out here, and this is my first one, it'll end here. It'll wrap around, come around, then it'll go through here on the next page, and then that one will wrap around. And so you, they can still keep the ribbon on there. They won't have to take it off every time. But, and that'll be where it holds it all together with my little snaps. Um, I think I've seen some others maybe using buttons. Um, somebody said, 
I just didn't want to use like temporary pins because pins rust after a while and somebody will poke themselves with it and I figured snaps would probably be the easiest thing I thought about velcro but I just don't like sewing velcro so I would rather sew a snap than that but I'm gonna sew them all together and I hope this gives you maybe an idea or two of how to put yours together um, I've got one more to do I'll get that one ready and then I will be happily snapping <laughs> have a great day bye